Hi guys, Daniel here, and today I'm going to start a series called Number Names, where I'll be describing the definitions of various types of numbers that one would wonder why a mathematician would even bother naming. In this video, I'm going to explain the definitions of what an abundant, deficient, and perfect number are. Before going over the definitions of these, I'd like to first define a function, sigma n. And this is just equal to the sum of the divisors of n. Divisors of n. For example, sigma of 6 would be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6, which is equal to 12. So, let's start by defining abundant. An abundant number is when sigma of n minus 2n is greater than 0. Or, in other words, the sum of the divisors of n is greater than twice the number itself. An example of this number would be 12, because sigma of 12 is minus 24 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 12 minus 24, which is equal to 4, and that's greater than 0. A deficient number is something similar to abundant, but exactly the opposite, because sigma, its, its definition is sigma of n minus 2n is less than 0, or the sum of the divisors of n is less than twice the number itself. Example of this number would be 8, because sigma of 8 minus 16 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 minus 16, which is equal to negative 1, and that is less than 0. Finally, you can probably guess what the definition of a perfect number is, because the definition is the sigma n minus 2n, not greater than, not less than, but exactly equal to 0. In other words, the sum of the divisors of n is exactly equal to twice the number of self. And an example of this, we've already gone before, is 6. Because sigma of 6 minus 12 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 minus 12, which is equal to 0, and that is equal to 0. And there you have it, the definitions of abundant, deficient, and perfect. Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we are going to do part 2 of the Euler Theorem videos. In this part, we're going to actually solve the problem that we saw on the last video.